This video will explain how to create and register a source agent via APRL HTTPS SDK, how to transfer data through HTTPS, and detail implementation steps of how the target agent retrieved data. This tutorial provides a Node.js based demonstration. Vitas for testing. Required dependencies, apps SDKJS and ethers. Securely configure sensitive data by injecting it using environment variables. Let's start trying coding. First, initialize the ATP's SDK instance. Constructor requires three mandatory parameters. Now we define the necessary information for creating an agent. You also need to provide transaction-related configuration information. At this point, the preparation work has been completed. Let's try creating and registering an agent. Use the async method create and register agent provided by the ATP's SDK and pass in the defined configuration information. Print transaction hash after create. Then waiting for transaction completion. After the transaction is completed, we will print the agent address to the console. Now let's run and test it. Transaction created and TX hash printed in console. Transaction completed and agent address printed. Let's open the blockchain explorer to retrieve the corresponding transaction. The visible transaction processing status is success. In the logs tab, we can see all the transaction receipt event logs. This is the newly created source agent address. Confirm that the address printed on the program console is consistent. Next, we will demonstrate how to use an agent to validate data. Validation data requires three necessary parameters. We use the source agent information we just created for agent and digest. Payload will be used to transmit verification data information and signature information. We will send a simple text data. Payload can also be used to pass additional configuration information. Finally, we create and send verification transactions and print the transaction results. Next, run the test program. We can see that the transaction hash and data hash have been printed to the console. Transaction completion. Let's open the blockchain explorer to view the transaction status. The transaction status is success. We will continue to open APRL AI agent data explorer to check the data sent. Can search for data messages with correct content. Now we will demonstrate how to retrieve data from AI Agent. AI Agent provides RESTful API for you to retrieve data. 
You need to provide four necessary query conditions and pass them as URL parameters. Send request and print the response content to the console to view the results. Next, run the test program. You can see that the API has successfully returned data. You can refer to the official documentation for the data structure definition. Data can also be found on Greenfield Scan. Search for corresponding data files based on date. Download JSON formatted data files from the details page. We use an editor to open the data file. Search and locate data based on field slot. It can be seen that the data content found by Greenfield Scan is consistent with the data content on the AI agent. You have completed all the content of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.